welcome to Off The Job Installer Show special. Would you say there are more engineers coming through now than there was before, or is there is there a lack of it? Is what, What's going on in the industry where like the apprentices and that are coming through? It seems to be that there's people trying to uh, upskill, but then we've also got a lot of people coming into the industry that are not trade, they don't have a trade at all. Yeah. So we're seeing, I don't know, people from all sorts of walks of life deciding to retrain and they want to make their lives better, they understand that gas is a good industry to be in, yeah. and, and they want a part of it. He won this installer show two years ago. His name's John Crookshank, he's a good friend of mine. So it's really important that the electrical side of things is uh, done correctly, and you know it's just not about plumbing there. Yeah. The industry's moving massively forward in that direction of smart thermostats, you know, home controls, and um, utilizing the efficiency of the system that you've got. People are still fitting gas boilers, so it's... In the future, they need to put more investment into electric combi boilers. Nobody wants a heat pump with the cylinders back in the house. That's the reason why people chose combi yeah. boilers in the first place, make to make more, more space. Yeah. Hello, welcome to... Off the Job! Overtime, where there's banter and your story shared. Please be warned, there may be some general explicit content. Okay, welcome to Off the Job Live. Well, it's not live. It's an installer show special. Um, Overtime. Overtime we're, installer. We're uh, here on the TPI stand uh, at the NEC. Thank you for letting us do it on, on What this they stand. can't hear. You've got to speak a bit louder. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, we're at the NEC um, and we're going to, uh, yeah, we're going to go for a few bits like we normally would in the week. So, um, we've got a, bit, a little bit of a crowd today. We have, haven't we? Very we've got to, different. We've got to get used to that for tonight. Yeah, this is a warm up. So, how's it been at installer? In installer this year, right? I'll tell you what. I was expecting it to be like that, yeah. but there's more people here probably than last year, but because it's so big, because you've got the upstairs now, yeah. right? it just gives you that bit more room. I know it feels a bit crowded around here, but everybody's looking at me and you at the minute, <laughs> but it's, no, it's good, it's really good. A lot of people really say being too big might downplay sort of, I think, well, I think it's been all right. It's I think if good. anything, yeah. it's made it better. Like, this is the, I'll be honest, I've enjoyed this installer more than any others. Okay, yeah. But then so before. where have you been working at installer? I've been working. Yesterday I was at CT1. Yeah. Yeah, doing my old, uh, you know, stick the stuff on there and like, you yeah. know, do the old like cut in the glass, glue it from inside. I was going, you know. they didn't have a hanging challenge. No, nah, they had the they had kettlebells. So they had the kettlebells, yeah, you got to hold them out. They're still doing it. Get down yeah. there with your big guns. Do you know what no, I mean? No, 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 <laughs> So, um, yeah, and then today, obviously, I'm with ETA. Yeah. yeah. And to that, but we've we got to say about TPI, haven't we? TPI have let us do this here, you know. Yeah. Great company. If you're not using a TPI analyzer, get on it, have a look. Bluetoothed up. Mm. Good product. Yeah. On that note, shall we get someone in from TPI to speak about shall their products? We? Shall we get someone in from TPI? We need someone in from TPI. Who should we have? Ip, dip. Peter. Peter's yeah. coming. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, this is Pete from TPI. Hello, boy. Boy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. All right. How are you, how are you finding the installer? It's very busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Very, very busy. Yeah, it's good. Got a lot of business? Uh, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How have you found the installer show being a lot bigger than last year? Yeah, I think it's helped. Um, I think we've got, there's a lot of space. Yeah. Um, so it's not as cramped, doesn't feel really cramped. But yeah, no, it's been really busy. Because I think show. if there's too many people walking around at once, it's hard to speak to all of them people. Yeah. If they're more spread out, you get more chance to speak to them. Yeah, and it was definitely yeah. more spread out during the day. We didn't have, normally you get a big rush, rush and, then yeah, a yeah. Big, and then it drops off and it really wasn't like that yesterday. It was like constant sort of all yeah. day. So, yeah, no, it's good. I think incidentally we say that we're here on the Wednesday. This is when the installer, the actual final is today, who is actually crowned installer oh, of installer the year. Awards. That's so it, yeah. the, the installer awards is today. So it's going to be a little bit busier today, but still... It's quite comfortable walking about, like people saying hello and all that. Yeah. It's good. It's nice. Nice environment, isn't it? Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. So yeah, what, um, you brought out a new product this year. We have. Yeah, we've got a new uh, digital clamp meter that's uh, Bluetooth, um, as well as the rest of our Bluetooth products. So it adds to the line. Um, we've got integration coming with a new trade apps yeah. um, electrical app that the guys are bringing out. So it'll mesh quite neatly. Those yeah. two products and the yeah, analyzer so. as well. You've brought out a new. Yeah, so we've got a new analyzer out. That uh, our original one didn't have a screen. Yeah, the new one's actually got a screen, but it also integrates into the app um, yeah. and in uh, um, the gas certificate app as well. So you kind of get best of both worlds. 
um, if you want to use it as a screen or not a screen. So yeah, yeah. that's uh, yeah, all, it's good to have good. the best of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. Um, how's that been going? The the launch of the new analyzer. Are people more interested in a screen or screenless? What, what's your view? It's weird. It's yeah. both. I think there's a lot of people excited about the screen when it came out. Um, it, even those that had the screenless one, they were like, oh my God, it's like so much better and it's got pressure integ integrated into yeah, it. Yeah. So it, again, it's like they were excited even though they, they got everything from the app and the integration and stuff, but yeah, yeah they still liked the screen. So yeah, it was good. It's been oh, good. That's nice, yeah. Yeah, no, I used to wonder with the screenless one, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, getting a getting a screen one at some point, Pete. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure we can. I, I, for, for purposes of social media, I think it's just nice, like to like if you're because like we, we obviously show a lot of your stuff and that. So when you when you're working with an analyzer, what uses a screen on the phone? It's hard for a a social media person like myself to film it to do the video you know what I mean yeah, yeah. that's yeah. what you said actually wasn't it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. nice bit of kit I, the, the old one I was really impressed with and I like the way like you say it, it links up with Kieran's app just nicely and then you've got your you, you're basically doing your landlord as you're going along in you so that's the, that's the point of it I think yeah. I mean yeah for us it was all about making the engineers life easier cutting out the potential for human error so yeah. they're now not typing readings in or writing readings down etc at all sort of populates in so yeah, you yeah. reduce all of that with a gps on it then again it's like proves where they were and sort of finishes the whole job off for them and then they're doing their paperwork on the fly mm. they're getting their evenings back and stuff like that they're not going home and having to do loads yeah. of paperwork in the evening they're getting that sort of time back so yeah, yeah. yeah but interesting point there when you say it's proof of where you were when you done it there's no like a case of if it's a paper certificate and that like oh well, i was there well anyone could say that but you've actually got it logged into technology that actually proves you were there exactly yeah and and that was the point right from the very beginning when we designed the first sort of manometer with a bluetooth that was exactly why we did it to prove that the tightness test was done on that property and yeah. when they left it was absolutely sound so, so you went to court you're all right exactly. <laughs> definitely and yeah, you don't yeah. just do analyzers you've got sniffers yeah we've got gas sniffers we've got a whole range of products so we've got um differential wireless temperature clamps so anyone moving into like heat pumps etc and um, we've also got um a, a range of refrigeration um, test kits, again, wireless, all work with the app, yeah, and there's going to be further integration with Gas Certificate and Gas Certificate app into, into more of their forms. Yeah, so yeah. where they've got Legionella forms, we do temperature, so we can get that sorted, get those um, readings in, and it's all about just having that proof and removing all of that potential for human error yeah. at the end of the day. So you can sleep at night as well, do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, how many times have you gone to a job and you think to yourself, oh, was it tight? How do I prove that it was tight? Yeah. Shall well, I go back and test it tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always crosses your mind, doesn't it? Then I but leave the test cap on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The well, reminder, he's got a reminder. We actually the put the that on the, yeah, yeah, we yeah, put yeah, it yeah, on yeah, there, exactly, yeah. yeah. Definitely. That was actually John Crookshank that mentioned that. Was it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, big shout out to Crookshank then for uh, saying about putting the test cap on. Have you put the test cap on? You know, <laughs> I used to call it, um, what did I call it? That is um, a TV 609, right? Go on. So TV 609 is basically, you go to work in the morning, right? Yeah, yeah and, 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 and you're running away, and then all of a sudden you think, oh no! I left the TV on 609 and it's adult content and your missus, <laughs> your missus comes down and she sees what you've been watching all night and you're like, oh no, I left it on. So um, yeah, that, that, that gets rid of that problem with the test cap, so yeah. yeah. All right, no, well, thank you for yeah, speaking to Pete. us. Yeah, thanks, Pete. Thanks for having me on the show, boys. Yeah. Thank you for letting us and hosting us here. Thank you very much. Very well. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, Pete. Cheers, guys. Thanks very, thanks very much. much. All right, so that was Pete from TPI. Um, yeah, very inf chat. informative. Yeah, uh, so if you want to look at TPI, have a look at them. Uh, what you've been doing then at the Installer Show then, Kieran? What have you been doing? I have been walking around networking. Um, yeah, just trying to speak to everyone that we work with. Yeah. Um, new companies. Yeah, just basically, for me, I use this as networking. Yeah. And meeting old faces, new faces. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much what I try and spend my time doing. But 
yesterday went so quick. Uh, today I've sort of wrote a list down who I sort of want to speak to and then try to get round. Um, yeah. You always bump into everyone. Yeah. I just bumped into a Hello Fresh guy. Oh, have you? And Put gave food him order up. in, did you? Yeah, I did. Because <laughs> I, I use them already. Yeah. Ended up telling my whole life story, and I think he's, they're coming to Plumber Social. How long take? Five minutes? Yeah. <laughs> they're coming to Plumber Social tonight. So, uh, oh, are they? Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah, Plumber Social's on tonight, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. when is this episode going out? Monday? Monday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that would have been and gone. We're going to be on there later on, so we'll know Monday whether or not it was a success or a failure. <laughs> I know, we'll tell you next week. So, um, right, now we've got um, a couple of other guests. We have uh, Car- uh, Aaron Carl. And we have Adam from Access Training. Uh, they're here to join us. And uh, yeah. welcome, yeah, maybe welcome, guys. Right. Can we all get in here? Leave me sorry, sorry. I was trying to figure out where I was standing. <laughs> so we have to do that. Yeah, go on. What, what you want us to make? So, yeah, if you want to um, give us a little intro, what you do at Access Training. Um, uh, so I'm an electrical and gas tutor at Access Training. I love training to be an assessor at the moment. So yeah, it's quite good to train the new people into the industry and get them welcome to it. So that's interesting that you do both gas and electrical. What did you start first? I started electrical first, but then yeah, I wanted to be a trans tradesman, so I put a lot of time into it, and now I do a bit of both. He decided he he realised the error of his ways and decided to become a plumber. Yeah, and only yeah. identify as an electrician when necessary. Exactly right. So that's good. What about you then, Adam? What about you? So you are a trainer at Access Training here. I, I have witnessed your work. Yep. Yeah, I train at Access Training. Thank you very much for witnessing my work. Um, it's not as colourful as what Aaron's done. Started with some plumbing. Somebody said, go get uh, a qualification. So I said, all right, I'll go get gas, gas safe certified. Went and did that um, at Access Training as well, actually. So I trained at Access too, and now I teach at Access. So, so what, in your, like, like, would you say there are more engineers coming through now than there was before, or is there is there a lack of it? Is what what's going on in the industry where like the apprentices and that are coming through? It seems to be that there's people trying to uh, upskill. So they like like Aaron, either being an electrician and then becoming uh, one of the gas, the aircon engineers doing gas. But then we've also got a lot of people coming to the industry that are not trade. They don't have a trade at all. Yeah. So we're seeing I don't know people from all sorts of walks of life deciding to retrain and they want to make their lives better, they understand that gas is a good industry to be in, yeah. and, and they want a part of it. So what is your handle on uh, socials if we want to get in touch or somebody wants to get in touch because they want to look at training and that, what is it? Uh, access training, yeah, access training on socials, come and, come and give us a look. Yeah. Uh, um, sorry, one question, so how did you find the tran- uh, transition from being an engineer to being a trainer? I uh, found it very interesting. I've always liked learning the bits about the trade, but I very much had to get myself back in the books and the students put you on your feet and the knowledge that the students are learning, the knowledge that they've got in their mindset before they walk through the door is really high. So I think it's keeping the industry really high. You don't realise, sorry, you don't realise when you go and do your assessment how much you don't know in the book. There's like yeah. so much in the book that you yeah. need to know for yeah, the... Indeed. Yeah, and the other thing as well is, like you said, this is all about networking here in this event here. So, like, I know Adam and, and you. What's your name again? Ah, <laughs> oh, that's not nice, is it? Adam and Aaron. It's too confusing. So, Adam and Aaron. I know both Adam and Aaron. I know Adam better. Obviously, Adam and Eve. You know what I mean? <laughs> but, it's, but it's all about ne- yeah, yeah. Sorry, it's all about networking. And basically, now I know when I want to renew my gas safe, I can come and see these guys. Yeah, because to be quite honest. My engineer, I thought he was going to die 10 years ago, my trainer, and he's still around, but <laughs> possibly in the next four years, dead. You never know. So, you know. Yeah, well, come, yeah. come to us, yeah. yeah. Like everyone. <laughs> Everyone's welcome. That, that went a we're bit not dead, we're around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, you know, whether we're teaching new engineers or reassessing existing yeah. gas engineers, yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're there. Yeah. Well, thank you Christy, for coming yeah, on. Thanks for coming um, on, guys. Thank you yeah. Cheers, yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Nice Cheers. one. Cheers, Dad. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, Aaron. I won't leave you hanging this time. <laughs> Hello, you wonderful listeners and watchers. Just pumping the brakes on this exciting episode to let you know about Kieran's app. That's changing the game in the gas certificate world. If you're sick and tired of doing gas certificates on paper, then gas certificate app is your way forward. 
but it wouldn't be an app worth talking about if that's it. With no hassle, you can manage your diaries, invoices and quotes for all your jobs so you'll never be chasing paperwork again. Don't forget those boiler manuals. I can tell you how many times I've been looking at a boiler and thinking, what the... Thankfully, the in-app boiler manuals have saved me and got me out of quite the pinch. If it's helped Pete here, then Gas Certificate app will definitely help you, especially with its easy-to-use gas red calculator and the extremely handy ability to duplicate certs. Brilliant for when you're doing your annual services on previous jobs. And for the icing on the cake, it has a complete offline mode. So if you're on a job in the middle of nowhere or servicing a boiler in the basement of a building with no signal, you've still got access to everything the app has to offer to keep you working hard. So click the link down below or in the description. Use the code POD30 to get 30% off yearly subscriptions. That's for all new users. That's POD30 for 30% off our yearly subscriptions for new users. Right, so uh, that was nice, the guys from Access Training. Access Training. We know well, we now have an engineer One and needs only. no introduction. He won this installer show two years ago. His name's John Cruikshank, he's a good friend of mine. He also like, has me work with him every now and then, you know, and he uh, really is a slave driver. I feel like so. we need a red carpet. But come on, come on, come on, John. <laughs> on you come, mate. How you going? How you doing? You all right? Pal. Kieran, it's a pleasure to meet you finally. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave me hanging. Hang on, don't leave me hanging. Oi. I'll be in charge of the mic. You left a leak, by the way. Hey, you left a leak. Really? What? No, mate, joking. I thought I'd get you. <laughs> I knew he was. I knew he was lying. I ain't get no leak. I know. I'm one of them plumbers. I don't get leaks. I don't get them. Never had a leak. Oh, by the way, you got my lies. Car. Got my cutter. My red cutter. You got it. Oh yeah, yeah. He blames me for like thieving his cutters as well. I, I don't thieve cutters. Because right? you've been, uh, you been. I find them. I don't thieve cutters. No. Well, you've been working together a little bit, haven't you? The last. I've been uh, carrying him, not working together, carrying. How him. do you find working with Pete? How do you find working with Pete? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to answer. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I see. Yeah, he hit that bag quite hard recently. So yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, there's a punch bag down here. And we all have to have a go, don't we? Whenever we see a punch bag, we're like, oh, no, no. Oh, wait, no, I'll have a little go of that bag. And then, and then you end up beating, like, uh, uh, an actual fighter, uh, Carl Ladd. We won't let him forget that one. Don't even train, beat him. I'm going to say, it, with the training, one of these be, zones I, there, I would be... I, he, he can't get him out of it. If, now. I, if I had training, I reckon I'd be, like, huh? deadly. Yeah, should we walk off? Should I just go? Yeah. <laughs> let's let, let's... I'll just sit here. But yeah, nice to have you, John. Thank you very much for having me on. Um, so yeah, you did win installer, uh, was it two years ago? Yeah, two years ago, yep. Um, so do you, can't, you come every year now just to sort of walk around? What's your... Yeah, I'll just say uh, enjoying the show this year. There's lots of things to see. <laughs> so do you just come here to walk around? <laughs> that went out wrong. <laughs> Pete, you don't have to be a comedian here, all right? <laughs> I did actually think that, Pete, and I thought myself, I'm just going to go with the flow of the question. <laughs> Oh, uh, just getting lost. <laughs> no, I mean, you know what it's like. It's a big social event. You've yeah, got yeah. lots of friends here, lots of manufacturers that you want to see in that. And yeah. uh, I think it's fantastic that you're launching a new product. So that's why I'm here. Because it's not only am I a plumber, I'm actually a technically a qualified electrician as well. Yeah. Okay. Even though I don't advertise those services, so I was really excited to hear about the new app that you launched. Okay, yeah. So obviously, electrics ties in with plumbing. Oh yeah, most quite definitely. a lot. Like people don't, people coming into the industry probably don't realise that you need a good knowledge of electrics to... Well, as you know, a lot of my social media recently has been about wiring, you know, there's yeah. always m mental questions, you know, people even struggling with simple wire and S plans, but I've been yeah. shaking up recently with D and X plans and that's showing them on different boilers, how to like, you know, do optimization steps, you know, open firm and things like that. Pete is getting extremely bored here because he listens to me all the time banging on about this and he's yeah. like, oh my God. Well, what are you talking about? Exactly, there we go. This is what I get when working yeah. with Peter. <laughs> and uh, so it's really important that the electrical side of things is uh, done correctly and you know it's just not about plumbing there. Yeah. The industry is moving massively forward in that direction of smart thermostats, you know, home controls and um, utilising the efficiency of the system that you've got. I think it's so good that John is so... He's a very passionate man. Very passion you passionate. You need people well. like this you need in the industry like him, to... But also like you need other people like me saying now like poor they are at it, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I think we work well together because we are literally... Uh, Chalk and cheese. Uh, I was going to say uh, St. Kells, but I'll no, keep... Don't, <laughs> don't swear on this episode, mate. I'm not allowed to do it. I've held my tongue. But no, it's, it's important to have people like you in the industry that pushes it forward. 
actually cares about what you do and well and actually like I think it's more important you've got companies like yourself in the industry who actually listen to us engineers and what we need to help our job better now since the launch of the gas certification app um, I have used it more yeah. to do breakdowns like Pete always says about the boiler manuals and things that you've got yeah, yeah. the other day we was on a job together um, we didn't know which way the flow returns were on a really old boiler quickly got it up you know use that app you know it was there it was problem solved I'm glad you didn't say it weren't there <laughs> <laughs> but so but you know and uh, with the launch of the new app it, I think that's going to be um, a bit of a bit I hate the word using it game changer but for someone like me who actually does do minor works uh, yeah. alterations additions and things like that to the electrical system yeah. I'm gonna have not only your gas app but I'm also gonna have the electrical app there uh, to help me in my yeah, job yeah. so it's not just people like myself and there's thousands and hundreds of other people out there trying to do a better job and improving the industry we need the support from you guys yeah. to make the job better it's all about helping each other yeah Going to your point about having your input and stuff we mentioned it earlier because you do you remember you mentioned about having a question about the flu cap Yes. And we added that to the certificate. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I noticed on the commercial side of things as well, the commercial uh, certificates have changed massively, you know, like with the ventilation and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. And that was, do you know, that was fantastic. The moment I saw those additions to the commercial certifications, yeah. I was like, this is the best that I've seen yeah, ever. Yeah. So we need feedback as well. It's important for that's, us. That's exactly yeah. what I was going to say. It's like, again, it's a, it's a form of networking, isn't it? And if you see anything that you think, oh, do you know what would improve that or whatever, then you, then you fire it over and, and then, then Kieran makes it happen so and that was a good addition that uh, that flu cap thing because like I said earlier we made a point of it earlier I won't go into it again but it's an example of what yeah. you can do like as an engineer out in the field and you're giving feedback to the company that you use to help them and help you so you know yeah all good isn't it yeah, well, yeah to adding to that point as well is that it's very rare for a company to actually listen to an installer because they will just go off and do their own yeah, thing yeah. But you know, you're very approachable as a business, and um, it, it's just nice that you've got that input, and you yeah. can actually see it because that's what it's all about. It's about that communication, that network, as Pete said, yeah. and it will never have happened without the, um, the the social media side of things and yeah, the integration. Yeah. Like, I mean, like the installer show wouldn't be what it is today without people like yourself yeah. and social media and everybody coming together because you know it's it's about all moving in the Sticking right direction. As a unit, yeah. Yeah, it's a great day. It's great. Uh, it's a great little three days to come along to. So if you do get a chance next year, come along to the installer show. I'm sure one of us will be here if uh, we, are, <laughs> we haven't been cancelled or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> can can plumbers get cancelled? I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> but yeah, cheers, John. Thanks for that, mate. Thank you. Always a pleasure. See you on the next one, sir. I'll see you around. Always a pleasure. Yeah, Take cheers. Thank, thank you, mate. Cheers. Yeah, well, that was a nice conversation with John. He's yeah. a very intelligent guy. Yeah, good fella, good he engineer. Knows his stuff. So, um, yeah, it's uh, good to get people on. So, now we have on, um, he's uh, very well known on social media, TikTok, Instagram, etc. And I believe he has a YouTube channel. Central Eat King, would you come on, please? Hey, guys. Nice How you doing? You right? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Cheers. How you doing? You good? good you? Enjoying yourself. When did you get down here today? This morning. Um, it's been chaotic. I've not managed to get around anything. It's absolutely massive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> you're overwhelmed by it. You're, you're walking around and you're thinking to yourself, where can I buy a pair of pipe slices from at a reasonable rate? Is that, <laughs> is, are you one of them ones? Or are you going around with your bag? I want some yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. He's really? the one. He's the one who goes up to all the people with the pencils and he gets a big anvil and puts them in his bag. He's, oh, and there's no, all I the competition. Type, yeah. I was with Kev yesterday and he he had um, a card and he had to get loads of stamps. All he wanted to do is go and get stamps so he could win this. The treasure uh, hunt, wasn't it? The treasure yeah. hunt. Have you seen the treasure hunt? Yeah. No. But any inside information? Fix Radio are doing the treasure hunt. That's what they're doing. The treasure hunt. So you've got to go around with a card, go to each stand. What has the special? fix radio thing and get it stamped and then you can be put into a drawer or something like that so yeah but um so um are you here tonight and today no only for today Trails. you're not coming to plumber social no. dad duties uh, responsible father Priorities, dad duties yeah. no i wouldn't say responsible at soft no no the wife would kill me <laughs> <laughs> right okay don't get oh yeah <laughs> so you're a heating engineer? Heating engineer, yeah, yeah. from uh, near Manchester, Wigan, the Wiganers. Yeah, how long have you been doing that for? Oh my 
Oh, that is a question. 34, 16 years. Long time in the game. I know game. I don't look it. <laughs> you don't, yeah, so you don't look, you don't look 16. No, you don't. <laughs> Do you reckon? Well, like maybe. The it's the beard, it's the giveaway, isn't it? That's the thing. He, he paints it. I paint it great. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> so what sort of systems do you work on? Are you doing any sort of new work like air source, heat pumps, no. anything? Typical combi slinger, repairs on combis. Domestic only, really. Uh, don't say it like a combi slinger, because combi yeah. slinger makes it sound like you're just like, yeah, that's no, you, no, you, yeah. Well, you, <laughs> He's you honest. Do, you, you're <laughs> honest, but you're an everyday plumbing and heating engineer. Yeah. Domestic only. Um, no real interest in to get in, into the uh, renewables and stuff. Kind of burying my head in the sand with that lot. I'm the same. I'm the same. because you've got too much information up yeah, there already. Some people sometimes. try and learn everything, and it's and you, hard to you, do you that. You can't. Yeah. You can't absorb everything. Like, and as you say, you're a father, you're a family man, etc. And sometimes things can be a little bit too much to like digest in there when you've got other worries, like like you know, at home and whatever. Exactly. And I feel like we've put a lot of time and effort and experience into learning the gas side of things for it all to be what yeah. to be gone listen it's not going anywhere but we all we know it ain't going anywhere don't we it's always going to be about for the what well, for our lifetime gas is always going to be about in it hopefully yeah it will be it will be. there's a lot of properties with gas they're not just people are still fitting gas boilers so it's it will you take years and you years. You can't think, but right, I see a boiler company here, right, with 18 years warranty, right? I'm not going to say the boiler company, because I'm not going to name them. I think, yeah, 18, a, a tag, right, yeah, I said it, right. <laughs> so they're doing an 18 year, so if they're warranting a gas boiler for 18 years, surely that tells it all. Yeah, exactly, absolutely. That's going to kill any sort of repair work out for us engineers. You'll only get the service inside of things, which, is boring. Yeah, it's good to switch it up. I believe in the future they need to put more investment into electric combi boilers. Nobody wants a heat pump with the cylinders back in the house. That's the reason why people chose combi yeah. boilers in the first place to make, to make more, more space. Yeah, yeah. They don't want they don't want that. So the only alternative, in my opinion, is to push more investment into an electric combi. I, I, I think what it is with combi boilers, it was it, it's an easy option, right? And and. When you look at an easy option, if you're sticking a 24 kilowatt combi in a property which has only got two bedrooms, they're going to say there's a lot of heat loss. What needs to go into the boilers is a lot more stuff they can do where modulation or they can like modulate it down, uh, range rate it, so it's giving off less. And then also people are talking about system design as well. A lot of people I see, they, they, they're, they're going in on their services and they're striking the boiler down to 50 degrees, 55 degrees, but a central heating system that's in there already isn't designed for it. No. And then they get callbacks saying, but we're all going to say, no, we put it down to 50 degrees. And then you get a callback saying, we're too cold here. Well, of course you are because it's not designed for 50 degrees. Absolutely, that's why I don't do. Yeah. That's why we whack it up to 80, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and we say, just turn that thermostat yeah, yeah. down, love. Do you know what I mean? Light switch. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what they that. want. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so what is your advice to gas engineers that are coming into the industry? Um, never be afraid to ask any questions. There's no such thing as a stupid question. There's stupid answers, but not a question. Um, do your research. There's plenty, th there's st plenty of stuff online. You can uh, yeah. videos, <coughs> YouTube uh, videos yeah. that'll teach us things. Yeah, because you've got a YouTube channel. Yes, YouTube what's, channel. What's that called? Central Heat King. Um, at Heat King, it is on YouTube. So go and take a look at that. There's plenty of tips and tricks on that. Do, is it doing well? Is it is it doing well? Not bad. It's got about five thousand subscribers, which I don't know. It's easier to grow on platforms like TikTok and Instagram. Short form is definitely. Yeah. What people prefer, their um, their attention span is non-existent anymore. Anyway. How do you find that doing like content whilst working? Do you find that it makes your work like takes longer to do your work? Does how, how do you like coincide that with actually working on the tools and doing your social media stuff? How does that how does that work for you? Uh, it does slow you down a little bit, but you kind of get used to that. Um, it makes you put more effort into the job because you know you're going to get criticised. And I kind of lost my passion with plumbing and heating. And making the content gives me that passion back, I suppose. So that's my big reason for doing it. That's a lot of people's reasons for doing it because I, I will say this exactly the same thing. I lost my passion for it uh, a long time ago. <laughs> 
But doing content and stuff, and, and when I used to do the actual plumbing content and that, yeah, it, it does have bring you back to. And like you say, it brings your standards up because you get you're seeing people doing really glorious installs and all that, and you think to yourself, yeah, I'm going to try and do a, a bit better because we're all guilty of, like you say, slinging at times, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But you can take some good tips off of people on social media. I mean, but at the same time, we. We we all got to work. I'm not I'm not going to have a go at the person who does just do the the everyday job but doesn't really polish his pipes up because that's reality, isn't it? Yeah, you don't have the time to do that. Yeah. Not everything you see on social media is no. everyday life. A lot of it is. We only show the bits that we want you to see most of the time. That's unless I oh, don't. <laughs> 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 unless you're hunting for the troll comments, yeah. like you, Pete. But um, yeah, no. Yeah. Thanks for joining us, no, mate. Thanks yeah. Yeah. yeah thanks coming. very much. Cheers. Nice to meet you, mate. Thank you. Right, so that was the Installer Show special off the job overtime. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you on the next one. See, uh, yeah, we'll be back in the studio next time. Just a quick one as well, before we wrap it up, we might add this in, is we're relaunching our electrical certificate app. We have a deal on first 75 people is £75. Um, so, yeah, grab that deal and save some time. Thanks very much, guys. All right, this has been another episode of Off The Job Podcast. Thanks for watching the show on YouTube or listening on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts and all other streaming platforms. If it's your first time watching or not, make sure to subscribe below and follow us on all the big social media stuff like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. For our overtime show on Monday, send us in your stories and comments for it to be read out on the show. Send it in via email, direct message through our social media accounts or WhatsApp us on 07457 406259. And we'll see you on the next episode.